Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and to this video where I am gonna try out a bunch of new things like new things in my collection and I'm gonna, I don't know, chat about some things probably I have a new foundation, I have a new highlighter, eyeshadow palette, like there's a bunch of new things to try and we're gonna see if I think there's anything worth purchasing, owning, trying, you know, all that jazz If you haven't been here before, hi my name is Angie, I am a lover of fashion and makeup, especially colorful ones Even though I don't know how colorful this is gonna be today, but I love trying new things, new brands, new techniques And if you're the same and you just want to inject some color into your timeline, don't forget to subscribe because I do upload several videos a week Okay <sighs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a scrunchie because I, listen, look at this, I can't be bothered. Wow, Angie, this is so pretty, look at you being, it's like a, a semi-mullet. I'm gonna try a foundation today that's actually a tint. So I'm gonna try the L'Oreal Skin Paradise Tinted Water Cream and I'm having, you can see I'm having not like bad skin and not really like breakouts either but just maybe this is breakouts because it's not acne I usually do not have any problems with my skin but something I'm guessing stress has been making my skin look like this so I will probably have to spot conceal a bit and the darkest concealer I have is actually an old naked skin by Urban Decay so we're gonna have to go in with that but I'm gonna I'm gonna use this half my face I'm gonna do a sponge and half my face I'm gonna do a brush. I think I'm gonna use, yeah, this one from Nabla. I really like this one. It's like dense but still fluffy, so it's actually really, really good for. It's one of my favorite foundation brushes. I got mine in. What did I get mine in? I think I got mine in like 01 Light. Light 01. There is Fair. So this isn't. It's like 01 Fair, 02 Fair, 01 Light, 02 Light. But in store, there was only. 01 fair, 01 light, and 01 medium. So I was like, what am I supposed to do? And 01 medium was too dark for me, but I think that this might be too light. So we're probably gonna have to bronze this up a bit. As you can see, I haven't even swatched this. There's like literally no, nothing going on here. So let's start with the one with, let's do the brush on this side. Maybe this will be good. I have no idea how much you're supposed to use. This is a skin tint. Like, I don't know. I bought this in Sweden. Maybe this is a Maybe this is a good shade. This is pretty... This smells a bit. It smells a bit like skincare, but not like... Like, I can smell it when I took it on my skin, but I that doesn't bother me. But if, like, smelly things... I like smelly. It smells nice. It smells like... I don't know. It smells like a mix of fruits and flowers. If that bothers you, maybe this isn't for you. That actually covered... Skin tint? This has more coverage than the NYX Bear With Me. Definitely. What is this supposed to do? Wait, can we read? Quench the skin with moisture and tones up complexion for perfecting healthy glow. Radiant finish, 24 hour hydration. It has water, aloe vera, ginger, uh, hazel. So it's like a skin tint with some like benefits, like skincare benefits. And that actually looks really nice. I might still have to like, but not as much as I thought I was gonna. And it went on really good with this brush. I'm gonna use just a little bit up here on my forehead. I put on my community tab, like, what do you want me to talk about? Because I wanted to like discuss something and I got some uh, suggestions, but I will say the most suggestions I got was about gaming and I'm so happy you want to talk about that but I thought I'd talk about it more on like a meta meta level that looks really really good okay let me do this side with a sponge because I feel like sometimes people say like I could never be into gaming and I also see some people say like uh, that they're so like annoyed that their kid is like gaming and not like doing a, a like a proper sport this sponge is dirty don't come for me and listen I think that eSport is a sport. That's how I feel. Like, they're, they're thinking about putting it into the Olympics. Like, it's, it's doing okay. There is so much money into eSports as well. I don't understand if parents don't get that. If your kid gets to be super good at eSports, like, your pension is saved. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to worry anymore. 
And I also don't get like parents are like, oh, I don't want to like sit and like watch my kid play video games, but they will gladly go and see like watch their kid play football. And then they're like, kids are so rude online, but it could be your kid. <laughs> Because you didn't watch them, you didn't monitor them at all. I, I will never get like the lack of interest from parents into like their kids loving loving a game. I like this with both a sponge and a brush. Both of them really, really good. Um, I have to say, around the nose, it works a bit better with a with a sponge but that's usually how it is i'm gonna try and put just a little bit here that i had some more breakouts and i also find it so funny when people are like how am i how can you just sit and watch video games don't you want to play and i'm like yeah steven how can you sit and watch football don't you want to play like how many people that watch football play football how many people that watch football and i'm saying football i mean soccer because that's how we in europe say it let's say soccer then how many people that watch soccer or ice hockey have ever even played <laughs> like at all in any like capacity have played the sports that they watch i think that more people that watch esports actually play the game they watch than when it comes to sports because i see people being so excited about the olympics wanting to watch like every single sport but themselves they're not like doing any kind of sports like i i just i can't understand how people don't see that and also like i see because i watch a lot of league of legends and people are like how can you watch it's like the same board again and again and again i'm like yeah susan so is football it's the same field again and again and again it's just different players and different tactics i just don't understand how people do not see the flaw <laughs> <laughs> the flaw in their reasoning. I'm, 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 it shocks me, honestly. I'm gonna use some of this concealer under my eyes and I'm also gonna use it... Why is there... How is it a cat hair here? This is literally... This is my life. This is the life I'm living. Jesus Christ. Okay, so... Just putting a little here and just gonna see if I can... Maybe use a little... <laughs> It's a little too... Do I have any other spots? I think I'm good. There's a little here, but I think I'll be fine when I just put some powder over. So this is gonna have, have to do. Uh, I've been playing so many different video games. Right now, I know people ask like what I play. And right now I am playing two very different games. I am playing League of Legends Team Fighter Tactics. I've said this before. I'm still playing it. I'm trying. I'm trying to rank up, but I'm still. I'm platinum three. Platinum three for life. <laughs> and it's good. I'm proud to be platinum three. I I think it's a really good one. And I also play Sims. Sims four. And if you haven't played a game. Like, I don't knock it until you try it. There are so many games out there. It's the same as sports. Like, there's bound to be sports for everyone. Honestly, like, a physical activity. There is a physical activity for everyone out there. And it's the same with, like, video games. And I feel like now with the... Um, what is that called? The Animal, uh, animal Crossing? I feel like now that that has become so popular. I feel like a lot of people have discovered like video games that hadn't played it before even though those kind of cutesy cutesy collector no real storyline <laughs> kind of a games that's not new that has been there before. Where is my powder? Here it is. I'm just gonna I'm gonna use a combo of these two powders. I will link things down below in case you're wondering and I'm not mentioning something that you want to know more about I will link it down below. So far, really loving how this is feeling. Uh, it settles in my smile lines immediately. Maybe a bit quicker than other ones, but it's also like skincare infused, so maybe it's moving around a bit more. We'll see how it is later. I'll put a pin comment. I'll put a pin comment in the uh, comments saying how this held up on me because I won't be able to come back and let you know about that later tonight because I am busy, but I will put a pin comment on how I thought that it wore. Anyways, Animal Crossing. I think Animal Crossing has led a lot of people to realize that gaming can be that. 
<laughs> a cutesy cutesy game where you are collecting butterflies and building an island. And I, I mean, I knew, I knew that those kind of games existed, but I'm guessing that for some people it's actually like a surprise. They're like, huh, this is what gaming can be. I, I watch, I don't know if you knew, I, I think I've talked about it before, I watch a lot of Sims and TFT content on YouTube. For TFT, I really, really enjoy both Skara and Disguise Toast. If you haven't watched them, you really should. I love, love their content when it comes to, like, TFT. I think they're doing a great job. I'm just gonna set down my whole face with this glowy powder. And when it comes to Sims, I watch a couple of different uh, people. I really love what James Turner is doing for Sims content. Um, his rags to riches are just so good. Honestly, so good. I also really love Vixella and Plumbella and Little Simsy and what's her name? D Deli? I love those as well for content. And and I watched some of James Turner, like I, wa I watched first episode of James Turner's uh, series on Animal Crossing. There are so many YouTube things about Animal Crossing. If you play Animal Crossing, don't forget to check the YouTube content on Animal Crossing. There are so many cool things with every game. That's how I used YouTube back in the days. I only used it for like World of Warcraft content. That's it. That's all I used uh, YouTube for. I didn't even know that there was other ways. <laughs> I wasn't aware, okay? So I watched his first episode on Animal Crossing and I was like, no. <laughs> and let me tell you why, but I'm gonna fix my brows first and I'm also gonna bronze a bit, I have my bronzer brush here because I don't have a new bronzer to try. Although I did actually buy a new bronzer, but it's not here yet. I'll try it maybe in a separate video because I paid like an arm and leg, my kidney and like the blood of a virgin to get that bronzer so maybe I'll do a separate video honestly but I'll do my brows uh, and I'll come back because I have highlighter, blusher, eyeshadow palette, lip thingy-majingy so bunch of things. Okie dokie, I have some bronzer on, I use the bronze booster by Physicians Formula. Look at this pan. Look at this pan. Pretty impressive, huh? I think so. Do I want to finish my face or do I want to do eyeshadows? I think I'm gonna do eyeshadows and then I'll finish my face because I can talk about Animal Crossing while doing my eyeshadows. I'm gonna do the Natasha Denona Mini Retro Palette. Yes, I finally bought it. It finally came to Sweden. That's why I hadn't, haven't bought it before. It's just a really pretty palette. And this is the first mini palette that I own from Natasha Denona. I don't know what I want to do, but I think... I think I'm gonna use both of the mats. I'll start with that and we'll see. We'll take it from there. Okay, let's talk about Animal Crossing. I think that Animal Crossing, I I didn't really understand what the game was first time I heard about it and I didn't really understand what, what, all, what all the humbug was about. Like, I, I didn't get it, I'll be honest. And I watched uh, James Turner's play, like, what do you call it? Basically playing the game uh, and, it, and I mean, he always does good, good, entertaining content. I can't even name how many times I've like literally laughed out loud during his like Sims playthroughs. So for him to not even be able to make this game enjoyable pretty much says it all about how I'm not going to be playing that. Animal Crossing is all the bad things with WoW, World of Warcraft, just cutesy. <laughs> And if you've ever played World of Warcraft, you will probably understand exactly where I'm coming from when I'm when I'm explaining this. I used to play World of Warcraft for years. I was pretty serious about my World of Warcraft, not gonna lie. Like I'm I was the kind of person that would set my alarm to be able to farm when other people were sleeping. Yes. I went up at three in the morning to be able to farm so I didn't have to farm with other people. I'm I was that bitch. I was I was literally that bitch. Animal Crossing is basically farming and collecting all the boring things in World of Warcraft. Because me and my guildies, we used to call World of Warcraft World of Farmcraft because all you did was farm. And if you don't know what farming is within um, like the gaming community, like the gaming sphere, it is literally when you're just doing the same thing again and again and again and it's monotonous? Monotonous? I got that right. So just like 
it's not hard, you're just doing it to collect things. So it's like, it's not like when you're pushing progress, how's my battery doing? It's okay. When you're pushing progress, for example, in World of Warcraft, it's, you're not getting resources, you're more spending resources. But when you're farming, you're doing something that's fairly easy again and again and again, in World of Warcraft, it would be like once every day just to like get the resources. And it's not hard. You're collecting flowers, you're collecting blisters, you're always collecting something. <laughs> Animal Crossing is the same thing, but there's no end game. There's only the collecting and all of a sudden your island is like so pretty. Like you can make money farming in World of Warcraft. Like, you can probably get someone that's like bored of farming to pay you to farm for them in World of Warcraft. And I'm sure they'd let you decorate their like, I don't know, garrison from from way back if you if you asked politely. <laughs> like I don't see the joy in it because if I wanna decorate something, I'll play Sims. Sims 4 is amazing. Like honestly. We'll talk a bit about Sims 4 as well. But I just I can't I can't do the farming. And to pay money to have a game all about farming like collect oh my god no 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 we're not you know what we're not doing in 2020 we're not doing that that's what we're not doing so if you're playing animal crossing keep that in mind the next time that you're complaining about someone that plays world of warcraft you are doing all the boring things from world of warcraft but not getting the fun parts which i think are the fun parts of world of warcraft i think the fun parts of world of warcraft is raiding like i'm sorry everything else is pretty pretty so so of course like getting to explore new parts when a new expansion comes like yeah that's amazing but that's not that often so raiding raiding is raiding is the chisel and i do wish that i had like the time to go back to world of warcraft every time i talk to my friend angela she's like so when are you playing world of warcraft but she's playing classic and i definitely definitely do not have time for classic like i'm sorry angela but <laughs> I barely have time for the things I do already in my life. There's just no way. But like all the friends that I've made in like all the games that I've played, I so want to get back and play with them. But I like I realize that most of them are probably not even playing anymore. But if I ever had the time to play World of Warcraft again, I probably would. Not gonna lie. Okay, the blend isn't perfect, but it is good enough because it's not that easy to blend a green into a pink and I'm not even sure if this is how you're meant to do the mats but I make my own rules. Let me see what of the shimmers I want to use. Ooh, that last one is so pretty. Oh, it has to be this one, right? Maybe I'll use, maybe I'll actually use it like this. Maybe I'll use a bit of the green one over here. And now I'm taking this lighter one, the shiny one at the end here, and I'm just putting that in the inner part. That shadow has a lot of dimension to it. It's actually really, really pretty. I think I'm going to use some of that on a small brush. Let me clean this one, and I'm going to spray it. I'm going to put it in my inner corners. And I'm also going to do some mascara. And I'll put some lashes on as well. I'm not going to put any super dramatic lashes on, but I still want to have some lashes. And I'll come back. We can talk about Sims. I'm so excited about Sims 4. <laughs> on that meme, no one. Literally not a single soul. Angie, I'm so excited about Sims 4. <laughs> okay, lashes are on. I used the white pen. I have the iconic lights on. They are... Uh, still like tapered and the crisscrossy pattern. I hope you can see the crisscrossy pattern, but they are just thinner, not as thick. I have, of course, the Bloom Highlighting Blush. Uh, it's like the mini Bloom from Natasha Denona. I bought this at Sephora Sweden, so eee, let's get cracking. Oh, I'm so excited to be using this. You have no idea. Where's, where's my brush? I want to wanna crack into this. I've had this for days. And I haven't even worn it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ooh. Oh wow, that is <laughs> so pretty. I have so many cheek products that are new, like it's gonna be layering galore. 
Oh, I'm so excited about the new Eco Lifestyle, uh, the new Sims expansion that's coming out. Like Sims 4, it's so old, but they're still bringing out expansions. It's like, it's like World of Warcraft, but like only building, no killing. Although Sims tend to die. Sims tend to die. But I'm so excited about the eco lifestyle. I think the new world looks so pretty and I cannot wait to build like off the grid homes, like proper off the grid homes with like, that's more like made to be off the grid with like the solar panels and all of that. Um, I just cannot wait. And also like the freighter, like the freighter homes with like the freighter box? What you, is that called that? Freighter homes? I don't know. I'm so excited about that as well. Trust me, if I had more time, if I had more time, I'm gonna be using this one as well. The Natasha Nona Face Glow Cream Shimmer. I bought mine in medium. I bought this out of Cult Beauty together with a thing I'm gonna use as well. If I had more time, I would be streaming games. I'm... Oh, look at that! Not even kidding, because I think that like Watching people play games is so much fun, and I honestly think that I... That looks so good. Like, natural. Like, let me see if I can... How does it work if I just use my finger? No, but honestly, I love watching other people play games, and I just feel like I could really contribute to that community if I had the options. I just don't right now, because uh, I just don't have time. But I really wish, I really wish that I could because I'm a pretty good gamer. Like, I'm not gonna toot my own horn, but I'm a pretty good gamer. I know that I can make some really good content in whatever game I decided to, looks so good. I decided to like, posting so yeah if I ever had the time that is definitely what I be, would be doing I don't know if I would be doing it on this channel but I would definitely be doing that let me smear that on my I love how this looks this looks so good both on camera and in real life I am shook at how good that looks. I'm gonna try with the brush because this is usually how I do like cream products in a stick form. Yeah, you could definitely build it up like this. Yeah, so you could definitely use a brush and put this on if you want to as well. This looks so good. Oh my, I am obsessed. I feel like one of the beauty gurus, but honestly, this looks so good and medium was definitely a good shade for me which means that if you are a fair uh, you should probably get a lighter tone you are like of a tan to deep you should probably get the darker tone because there's a darker one as well but if you are of a light medium to medium dark this medium one would probably look really good on you oh my windows i don't want to update my windows go away Okay, last highlighting product. This is the Becca Own Your Light. I know I showed this on my Instagram so long ago and I never got to try it, but today we are trying it. It looks absolutely stunning. I will say, let me see if I can swatch this side by side. This looks so much like the Hades one. The Becca one is more pink. I can see that just by looking at them. Yeah, the Hades one is more peach. This is the Hades one and this is the Becca one. The Hades one is more peach and the Becca one is more pink, but they have that same, like the undertone is that same goldy peach undertone, but then the Becca one is more pink and the Hades one is shifting more peach. So I thought that these were going to be dupes, but this one looks more pink. I'm going to use this highlighter brush. I've been so in love with the Nabla highlighting brush. It's really poofy for powder highlighters because the Becca ones are powder highlighters and I've been using this with the Jaclyn Hill loose highlighter as well. It works so good for like powdery products or like loose products. I'm having so many products on my cheeks right now. It's ridiculous. I'm just going to use a little bit more of the blush just at the beginning so we don't lose the so we don't lose the shade over here. It's always nice to layer some blush on top of your highlighter so you don't like lose the color. Oop, that's turned. 
That escalated quickly. I do like being a bit blushy though, but that looks... Ooh, I look divine. Don't even come for me. I look divine. Let me get rid of some boxes. This is crazy. Okay, only the lip product left. And I want to use this Ultimate Lips. This is the lip primer by Linda Halbe. She did send me this lip primer in PR. I bought all of the other things that you saw here today. I bought the Natasha Denona products, all three of them. I bought the Becca highlighter. I bought the L'Oreal like foundation. I bought all of the things except this one. This is the only thing here that's in PR. And also maybe the, the next like lip product I'm going to show you, depending on how you see it. But it looks like this, like a see-through little thing. And this is meant to just make your lips last longer or not smear, I guess. To have and to hold from this day forward for better and for... Uh, or for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and health until the very end. I promise I will always stay true to you, never letting you down. Is it a lip liner or is it a lip primer? It's the future, the hybrid of the dreams in one transparent shade. Okay. Ultimate lips will prevent your lipstick from fading, bleeding, creasing through any occasion, day and night. Okay, so this is what I thought it was. And that is that I thought that this was going to be a product to make your lipsticks last longer and also not fade. But apparently it's also going to help them from not crease, which could be really good if you're using those kind of like liquid lipsticks that don't dry down 100%. I think that this would be really good under. Mm. It feels like putting a balm on. It's completely see-through. The only problem with the see-through product is that you don't really know where you've been <laughs> and not. I'm gonna put a proper beauty lipstick over. This is a creamy lipstick, so it's really gonna help to see if this one is feathering or like uh, lasting longer. This lasts just as good as any other. I'm gonna use 01 Driven. It's like a cool tone brown. I thought it would work with the cool tone eyeshadow and also this eyeshadow is not that like bright or something. So I thought a dark lip could be cool. But I think it's gonna help to see if it feathers because something like this will feather over over time if you wear it for like a couple of like more than two hours it's gonna feather a bit if you don't have a lip liner I've worn this with lip liner and without lip liner with lip liner I had no feathering without lip liner I had a little bit of feathering after like three four hours and also this does not like go away but it is like a cream lipstick so it doesn't have the same like hold that like a matte liquid lipstick will have so let me put this on and that's gonna be that's gonna be it. I have everything on, including the lipstick, and it went on just as good as before. So so far, I'm not seeing like a real difference. But I will also uh, I will also update on how I felt about the lip primer if I felt like that did some kind of a difference as well. In the same comment as I will put some info about the skin tint. I will say this skin tint has more coverage than I thought it would, and this color is actually pretty good on me. I think that this light O one is a neutral undertone a light with a neutral undertone so if that fits you this will probably fit you there are more shades than the three that i saw in store but i don't know exactly how the shade range is per se and i also don't know how it's going to be when it reaches the us because i know right now this is only available in europe you can buy it at kix in sweden and you can also buy it at h&m in sweden will say i don't think whatever the shade range is i don't think that it's really good that the stores only have three shades i don't think that that is good especially when it's not as sheer as expected because this has this isn't sheer this isn't a tint this is a light coverage this has even more coverage than the nyx bear with me and the tinted moisturizer from ColourPop. i would say that this is a coverage above that like one step above that it's not a medium coverage but it's like definitely a light coverage definitely not a sheer but i like it so far i like all products so far i think everything looks really really good i will say the thing that probably like that i like the most are like the three like cheek products i they're delightful they're delightful i like them so much i also have a video swatching all of these proper beauty lipsticks on my channel if you want to see all the shades swatched this was number one but i do have 12 shades and i've swatched them all on my lips in a video that was a while ago let me know your thoughts down below about gaming i really hope that one day i'll be able to show some like gaming content as well i would love to do like a playthrough with like sims or tft or like just a build with me or like stream live i would love to do that right now i don't have time and i also have, don't have the right space for it because where my computer is at i have the whole apartment behind me so if i were to stream it would mean that no one was able to do anything like my fiance couldn't like go to the bathroom without being seen he couldn't go out with the dog without being seen and i don't really 
like he he shouldn't have to like reschedule his entire life for me to be able to show some sims to you like that doesn't make any sense at all but yeah let me know your thoughts down below about all this i don't know if any of this made sense because you might see this in like i don't know 25 minutes uh, 20 is it really 25 minutes it could be it could also be 45 minutes because a bitch can talk but what you see right now it's taken me some time <laughs> so if i lost the thread somewhere i'm sorry this has been longer than what you've been seeing. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!